This is a video on how to make a fixture uh, for your CNC machines um, to make this cover. There's a lot of videos online. Um, some of them get really complicated and sometimes they just don't need to be. Sometimes you just got to get that. You just got to make the fixture and get it done. So this is an easy way that we do it sometimes. So start with making a new component. And then um, I like to off I like to create an offset plane on the uh, surface that is that the part is going to sit into the fixture at. And then let's just project the edge. So we have this is going to be like our basically our cavity for the fixture. So let's make it start a sketch. Project the edge that you need. And then that's all you really need to do. Just hit OK. And now what we need to do is start a new sketch on the same plane. And this is going to be our fixture. And then we want to dimension and constrain this sketch as best we can. Try to make every make sure everything's black. This is a really good way to get used to using your constraints as well. Because it's super simple. Use the wrong one there. Just undo, just start over again. Or I had the wrong uh, line selected. And then I try to constrain everything off the center of the origin. Just makes everything really simple from the start. This is gonna be the gap in between the two jaws. Symmetrical. Now you're basically done, and now we can just make our model. And typically, I'll make the back side of it first, just to simplify the process. Um, there's so many methods that you can do this in. Uh, this just seems to be easy. It's just visually easy, so I like to do it this way a lot of times. So it's a two inch jaw, and then we're gonna have the part sit in 325 uh, 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 thou. Now we'll just, uh, we'll extrude the cavity end of the jaw, the distance that we removed from the back. And you're basically done. And now it's just a matter of cleaning it up, making sure everything's right. Always double check to make sure that your model is seen in the fixture properly. That's all you got to do. It's always a good idea too to um, uh, mark the fixture so you know you're gonna have a bunch over time and um, we just tend to part number all of ours and that seems to work for us we don't try to get too fancy with it um, just a really easy way to identify your work And you're done. I um, hope you enjoyed the video.